after this, when Jesus knew that all was now finished, he said, in order to fulfill the scripture, I am thirsty. A jar full of sour wine was standing there. So they put a sponge full of wine on a branch of hyssop and held it to his mouth. I invite you to take a deep breath and bring to your mind the image of your favorite body of water. Imagine yourself there and let that image come for you on this most holy day. Water is life. El agua es la vida. When in Jesus the divine presence became flesh and lived among us, like any of us, Jesus learned how precious water was, especially because he lived and walked through desert lands and many places where unless you live by the river or lake, your sources of drinkable water were limited and you needed to walk far to a well to get water. Water was also a powerful spiritual symbol in the time of Jesus used in many rituals, including rituals of hospitality, cleansing, and baptism. Water was a symbol of birth and rebirth, a symbol of hope. Our gospel reading takes us to the end of Jesus' life after he has been tortured, crucified, his life evaporating before the eyes of his mother and the other courageous women who never left him alone and especially at his time of trial. At the end of his life, he said, I am thirsty, Bengo said. The one who at the wedding, when people ran out of wine, instructed some to fill jars with water and provided the most incredible wine because he knew the importance of hospitality, he says, I am thirsty. The one who engaged in dialogue with a seeker who came at him at night, affirming his ministry and asking many hows. And in his response, Jesus says, to enter the kingdom of God, you must be born from water and spirit. He says, I am thirsty, Bengo says. The one who offered to a Samaritan woman living water in the shape of a hospitable space for her to be seen and heard and for her story to be affirmed and known and provided her with the knowledge of hope to claim her power, to become the bearer of good news, not only for her, but for her people. He says, I am thirsty, Bengo said. The one who used water to wash his disciples' feet to teach them about humility, service, and care for one another, he says, I am thirsty, Bengo said. The one who quenched the thirst for life, healing, hope, and salvation for many, is there at the end of his life, wounded, dying, and saying, I am thirsty, Bengo said. And what he is offered is not the water he thirsts, but a branch of hyssop, the same shrub that once marked the doorposts of Jesus' ancestors with the blood of sacrificial lamb is now the tool dripping with sour wine held to his mouth. 
I am thirsty. Today, we are literally living in a Good Friday world in the midst of a pandemic that is taking the life of thousands in our state, in our country, and all over the world. Jesus is wounded, crucified by the thirst for power, greed, and selfishness of an inhumane system. Jesus is dying and thirsting and asking for water, for life. He's asking for life and the cries of those infected by COVID-19 is struggling for their lives in the cries of the hospital workers, the cleaning workers, the grocery store workers, the sanitation workers, the postal workers, the delivery drivers, and everyone who must leave their home risking their life and their health. And the cries of the poor, of the people struggling with mental health and addictions, of the immigrant and the refugee. It's in the cries of prisoners and detained immigrants who have no way to protect themselves from infection without being released. Jesus is in the cries of those who have lost their jobs and the cries of those who are sick and have no access to medical care or medicine. And Jesus is in my cry and in your cry this Good Friday. In this Good Friday time to be over in our city, in our state, and in our world to be over for me and for you and for all who are thirsty for their breathing to be restored, for the possibility of health, healing, and a future with hope for all. I am thirsty, Tengo said, Jesus said, knowing that the end was near, and yet we know that that was not the end of the story. I invite you to take a deep breath with me and exhale and hold on to this. The source of the living waters is with us in this Good Friday world, and Sunday will come. But for today, we are invited to gather our courage and solidarity and sit at the foot of the cross with Mary, the wife of Cleopas, with Mary Magdalene, and Mary, the mother of Jesus and witness to Jesus' thirst and the thirst of our world. Amen. <laughs>